रही हूँ मास्टर टीचर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एट वेरा तो वेलकम टू दी सेशन व्हाट्स अप पीपल हम्म सो व्हाट इज दिस नो योर एग्जाम यस सो दिस इज द न्यू सीरीज व्हिच वी आर स्टार्टिंग टू टेल यू everything about all those very important competitive exams because you know i receive so many messages or mails or you know dms related to ma'am what is this ma'am what is the eligibility criteria ma'am can i take this and all that so to answer all those questions we have started this series called as know your exam and hamara pehla exam hai jee let's learn more about this exam i'm sure this will be helpful for every one of you you know matter you know if even you are in 8th grade also so if you know you know about the exam pattern or maybe about uh, the criteria you can start preparing right so let's learn more about jwe but before that make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and relatives also so they can also know hmm what exactly je is because most of us are like ha je yes yes nice nice please write yes appear in the exam ha huh? but it is very important for us to know what is it let's learn all you know to all you need to know about je so je main is the full form is aapko pata na ha joint entrance examination what is the objective of the exam it is very important no everything must have an objective so why should i appear what is the objective of the exam so this exam will you know they want to assess the competency okay is this student is eligible to study this particular subject or to get this degree or not so that is the objective of the exam that is to test the students in order to assess the competency because once you qualify this exam then you can um, you know get the admission in those premier higher educational institutes of engineering and architecture hai na so architecture is also important in case of je the students who are very much interested in this uh, designing architecture and all that so they have to appear mm. so if you want to take admission as i told you in those premier institutes in india for engineering and architecture then you can attempt this examination in which grade can you appear that is also very important in grade 12 and after 12 Eleven? No. After tenth? No. But after twelfth also, you can still attempt this examination. What is the eligibility criteria? So first one is you should be an Indian national. Yes, you should be uh, the Indian national that is citizen of India. There are no minimum marks required in class twelve. You know, it's not like there is no cut off. Only if you get sixty plus, then only you can appear. No such thing. There are no minimum marks required in class twelve. I'm talking about class twelve to write JEE main exam. So I'm talking about JEE mains children, not advance. For that, there will be a separate video. Just let uh, let me know in the comment section. Do you need more such videos? for the ones who belong to you know maybe nri category or overseas citizen of india that is oci or persons of indian origin so they can also appear they can also apply for jee uh, main but they should provide the category certificates at all stages of jee main okay you should have all the certificates ready then only you can apply for this examination so for example you know if i have to appear for uh, you know if i want to write jee in the year 2021 then i must have passed class 12 in 2019 or 20 the, uh, that academic year okay han ji and there is no age limit to appear for the jee that is minimum is you should have passed you must have passed 12th that's it and uske baad there is no age limit to appear for the jee examination next is what are the number of subjects required for the qualifying examination that is 12th may what are the subject which you must have study you should study so for paper 1 that is btech btech ke liye this is the candidates must have studied physics and mathematics as compulsory subjects and chemistry or biotechnology as optional this is for paper 1 children that is btech physics and math compulsory 
and chemistry or biotechnology can be optional subjects and next is for P paper 2a and 2b so the candidates must have studied physics chemistry and math as the compulsory subjects in class 12 all the three pcm if you are if you want to write paper 2a and 2b then you must have studied all these three subjects now what about the exam pattern you can see this is for 2a okay math physics chemistry i have told you not 2a and 2b three so there will be questions from math physics and chemistry so each subject will have two sections section a section b you can see so section a way sir mcqs honge and negative marking will be there and in section b the answers will be in the form of numerical you just have to write the answer whose answers are to be filled in as a numerical value and there won't be any negative marking for section b but you can you have to attempt only five questions out of 10 in section b you don't have to write attempt all the questions so this is about the exam pattern so then there will be uh, part one will have two sections section a will be of mcqs and section b will contain uh, questions as i told you whose answers to be filled as a numerical value in section b they can attempt only five questions out of 10. got it so these are the subjects math physics chemistry and then mathematics part one aptitude test part two and then there will be drawing test that is part three <coughs> and this is for 2b okay 2b paper 2b there will be part one will have two sections okay and then section a will be of mcqs and section b again the same thing there won't be any negative marking for section b understood is it clear uh, there are no doubts and you will get the pdf of this session as well don't worry you can just check exam mode online that is computer based number of sections and subject this is only for b tech and be three subjects that is physics chemistry and mathematics duration of exams hoga three hours that is 180 minutes as there are three sections as there are three sections so 60 minutes per section total hoga total exam duration hoga 180 minutes that is three hours so section a may mcq that is math physics and chemistry 2020 so as this i have already uh, mentioned you know i have shown you the table but still if you want to uh, read it or go through it separately we have added the slides as well for your reference so now total number of questions will be 90 and JEE main total marks is 300 marks. Language of paper, Assamese, Bengali, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Odia, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, Urdu. In addition to Hindi, English and Gujarati, you have all these options. So next is B Arch and B Planning, that is architecture. So for B Arch online, there will be mathematics and aptitude. Obviously, the drawing part, it has to be conducted offline. Okay, drawing test is an offline examination, whereas the mathematics and aptitude ka hoga online. And then for B planning also online, mathematics and aptitude is online and planning based questions. Dono honge online. So for B arts, there will be three subjects. That is drawing, mathematics and aptitude. For B planning, again three mathematics and aptitude is common but here there will be planning based questions because here architecture may drawing related questions are very important they want to know right like how well can you plan and sketch and everything and for b planning there will be questions related to planning so uh, the total duration 180 minutes for both b architecture or for b planning and uh, the different sections there will be three parts for B arch, 20 questions from math, aptitude test 50 and drawing test 2, that is the part 3. For B planning, mathematics 20 questions, aptitude 50 and planning based questions hoga, hoga 25. That is the difference. So number of questions for B arch will be 82 because 
So here if you count 70 plus 95, okay, it will be correct, na? So type of questions, mathematics and aptitude ka hoga objective and obviously drawing uh, kind of questions will focus on your drawing skills and sketching skills. For B planning, mathematics and aptitude, there will be MCQs. For planning based questions, it will be MCQs and even for mathematics and aptitude, it will be objective type. Total marks, JEE main total marks for B architecture, it will be 400 marks. Drawing section will be of total 100 marks. And for B, B planning also, it is 400 marks. Yes, languages, uh, language of paper will be same for the B tech or B E or B architecture or B planning. Assamese, Bengali, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Odia, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, Urdu in addition to uh, Urdu in addition to Hindi, English and Gujarati. Is it clear? If you have any doubts related to JWE main, JEE main, please let us know in the comment section. And if you have some additional information, which I might have missed, but I'm sure we have included everything which is uh, which a student must know before they appear for this examination. But still, if I have missed anything, do let me know in the comment section. So tell, let us know in the comment section, how is this new series? You know, are you actually looking forward to many more such sessions? And if you want to start preparing for JEE or your board examination, why don't you join us? So there is a platform where everything will be solved. Ha, jo bhi ho, academic related problems, we have solution. That is, you can attend unlimited live classes with fun and high level quizzes. Even if you couldn't attend the session, hmm, no worries. You can watch the replay and play the quiz. The notes will be provided after the session. Assignments will be shared with you after a few topics or chapter wise assignment will be shared with you. Tests will be conducted regularly. You will get the performance report as well. Along with these things, there will be in-class doubt solving. Class teachers, honge, master teacher honge, who will make sure to resolve all your doubts during the session so that you don't have to wait for another session, you know, where a master teacher will take up all your doubts, like how we try to do it on YouTube, right? And um, as you are our pro subscriber, Joby, if they if we have if we are starting some new series, some new courses, like my courses, crash courses, you can be a part of it. You can enroll into any of them. So please uh, visit the link which is given in the description. Use the coupon code SURPRO. That coupon code must be already applied. See, we are trying to reduce the number of steps. So take the pro subscription and uh, I will be teaching for 9th and 10th CBSE this year. There are so many batches. So if you want to learn from me and other master teachers, like Devya Shama Mojo, you can enroll, you can take up the pro subscription because new batches are starting from 10th May, 24th for ICSC and Maharashtra and JEE me, JEEC, 10th May. So do let your um, cousins or siblings know about these new courses and the new series as well. I'll see you soon. Please take care. Till then, keep loving chemistry, elementary chemistry by way down too. Take care, stay safe, stay home. Bye-bye.